you can now upload extensions using Manifest V3 to the Chrome Web Store. The aspect ratio CSS property makes it easy to set the aspect ratio on any element. You can now use play billing in your trusted web activity. All the videos from the Chrome Dev Summit are up, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 88. Chrome 88 now supports extensions built with Manifest version 3, and you can upload them to the Chrome Web Store. Manifest version 3 is a new extension platform that makes Chrome extensions more secure, performant, and privacy respecting by default. For example, it disallows remotely hosted code, which helps the Chrome Web Store reviewers better understand what risks an extension poses, and should allow you to update your extension faster. It introduces service workers as a replacement for background pages. Since service workers are only resident in memory when they're needed, extensions will use less system resources. And to give users greater control and visibility over how extensions use and share their data, in a future release, we'll be adopting a new install flow that allows users to withhold sensitive permissions at install time. Check out developer.chrome.com for complete details and how you can migrate your current extension to manifest version 3. Normally, only some elements have an aspect ratio, for example, images. For them, if only the width or the height is specified, the other is automatically computed using the intrinsic aspect ratio. In Chrome 88, the new CSS aspect ratio property allows you to explicitly specify an aspect ratio, enabling a similar behavior. You can also use progressive enhancement to check if it's supported in the browser and apply a fallback if necessary. Then with the new CSS4 not selector, you can make your code a little bit cleaner. Thanks to Jen Simmons for calling out that this is supported in the latest Safari technical preview, so we should see it in Safari soon. You can now use play billing in your trusted web activity to sell digital goods and subscriptions using the new Digital Goods API. It's available as an origin trial in Chrome 88 on Android, and we expect to expand the origin trial to Chrome OS in the next release. Once your accounts are set up, update your trusted web activity to enable play billing, and then create your digital goods in the Play Developer Console. Then, in your progressive web app, Add your origin trial token, and you're ready to add the code to check for existing purchases, query for available purchases, and make new purchases. Adriana and Andre go into more detail in their Chrome Dev Summit talk, or check out the docs linked in the description below. Of course, there's plenty more. To conform with a change in the HTML standard, anchor tags with target equals blank will now imply rel equals no opener by default. This helps prevent tab napping attacks. Most operating systems enable mouse acceleration by default, and that can cause a problem for some games. In Chrome 88, the pointer lock API allows you to disable mouse acceleration. That means the same physical motion, whether slow or fast, result in the same rotation, providing a better gaming experience and higher accuracy. And Ad event listener now takes an abort signal as an option. Calling abort removes that event listener, making it easy to shut down event listeners when they're no longer needed. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss any of our videos, whether it's the Chrome DevTools video, the Chrome Dev Summit videos, or anything else. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 89 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.